Hi, I'm Tish. This is Tish. Welcome to this episode of The Greasy Spank. Today I want to share with you how to write a Valentine's card. It's now the end of February. Valentine's Day is on the 14th. Was on the 14th. Yes. But any day is an opportunity for love. First up, I've got my card. My Valentine's card. Lots of Valentine's cards are available. All with different pictures. Quirky little sayings. Designs. You choose the one that you think the person you are giving the card to would like the best. Valentine's also come in a variety of prices, from cheap to not so cheap. Choose a card that fits your price range. Remember, it's not necessarily the card, but the thought behind it that counts. Once you have chosen the card that you wish to give to that person, buy it. Don't steal it and take it home. When you've got home, remember to have taken the envelope from the store too. It's included in the price of the card. If you've got home and you've forgotten it, you're gonna to have to go back. Once you are home, it's time to write your Valentine's card. Take your Valentine's card. Undo any coverings. Open it up. Inside, like this one, is blank. Some cards will already have a little message written inside. Lucky you, you might have to do less thinking. This card, we're gonna to have to think of something clever. Have a moment to think before you put anything inside the card. It's important to think what would make the person I'm gonna give this card to smile. Remember, it's nice to use your own handwriting inside a card. So, go and get a pen. I haven't got a pen. Choosing a nice pen is advisable. It will make your handwriting look better. First things first, you need to address who the card is to. So at the top here, in this section here, you can see closer, you need to write, dear, and who the card is to. You could write something more romantic, say like, dear, my everlasting light. Dear, the person I love, Jenny. Dear, uh, my little cuddly one etc etc dear my loving partner whatever you choose that bit i'm not going to be teacher creative mastermind for you it's very important that you spell the person's name right that goes a very very long way be sure to use appropriate grammar after their name a comma next we're going to write the body of the card the main bit here we're going to write it here in this middle bit Usually, because this is a Valentine's card, you would write something that related to the fact that it's a Valentine's card and it's Valentine's Day. For example, on this Valentine's Day, I love you. I love you very much. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's is a good place to start, I guess. Be my Valentine. You could write that, for example. Be my Valentine. Appreciate the love you've given me this year. I love having a laugh with you. You're very fun. Let's eat. Let's celebrate. Let's go out to eat. You can also be silly in this part. You can write something like, we're both two lonelies on this Valentine's Day, sending you lots of love. Something like that, if you're sending it for a more quirky, fun reason, as opposed to a serious, painful, heartfelt, whatever. You could also be artistical here and write, say, a small poem, something that rhymes. You could draw an illustration. Let your expressions run free in this section. Be yourself, that's important. Be concise, I guess. If you really want to write an essay, well, each to their own, you could do so. Perhaps if that's the case, start your message on this side and then move to the other side of the card. That's a nicer way to read if you read from left to right. Just after your main message, you're gonna write something such as, Love, Tish, love your name obviously, love your name, love, lots of love, your name, uh, masses of love, your name, forever and always, your name, lots of different things you could write if you want to be very formal, if it's more of a funny card and you know the love isn't necessarily uh, romantic. You might write warm wishes, kindest regards. And then obviously when you write your name, you sign it. You can add kisses, you can add little pictures. B 
be creative, express your feelings on this piece of paper. When that's all done, you have written your card. It's now time to take your envelope and to put your card inside that envelope. Be sure to write this person's name on the card so that no confusion occurs. If you're giving this card hand to hand, there is no need to write their full address or affix a stamp. If you're popping it in the post, you will need to buy a stamp, place a stamp here. Write very clearly their full address in the middle of the envelope. Make sure the back is properly secured and post into an appropriate post box. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this gives you lots of ideas and tips and tricks about ways to send a Valentine's. No one sent me a Valentine's card, hence I bought that card for myself. Remember, it is just a piece of card at the end of the day. Cards, pieces of cards, parts of trees do not validate how people feel about you. You have to learn to love yourself first, remember? That is important. If you send a card and someone does not acknowledge your love for them, move on. Life is too short. Plenty more flies in the sea. Happy card writing. It's bye from me, Tish. Bye. Every day. A love day, right? It's bye from Tish. Bye. 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 Ah.